Hi guys, welcome to the 13th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. This is part 3 of the automatic temperature control systems. In part 1, we designed the circuit diagram. It's got an LCD to continuously display the temperature. We've got the keypad to set the reference temperature. We've got the analog sensor to read the temperature. We've got the fan and the heater to control the temperature of the area. In part two, we wrote the code to read the keypad and to display the reference temperature. In this part three, we're gonna write the code to read the actual temperature and compare it to the reference temperature to control the temperature of the area. Let's go to our code. The first thing we need to do is to configure our analog to digital converter. Let's create a function to configure our analog to digital converter. We're gonna name this function init ADC. This is the function init ADC. Open ADC FOS. We're gonna set it to 2. Our value will be right justified. The TTA is going to be 2, we're going to use channel 0, the interrupter off, we're going to use the reference as VDT and VSS, and we're going to use only channel 1, as we have seen on our second diagram, we're going to use the RA, which is analog 0. Before we write anything in our main loop, let us declare some few variables that we're going to use for the analog to digital converter. The first variable is going to be the int ADC result, which is going to be used to read the ADC. We're going to need a float variable. We're going to name it actual temperature. This is going to represent the actual temperature. And let's go to our main loop. We're going to read continuously the temperature of a given area. The first thing to do, we're going to read the temperature. We're going to use the function convert ADC. To start the analog to digital convention, this function is used to wait until the convention is finished. And once the convention is finished, the red value is going to be stored in the ADC result. Then the next step is to convert this result into a temperature representation. We're going to store it in the actual temp float variable. This is the equation to convert the red analog to digital value into a temperature value because the LM35 produces 10 millivolt per degree Celsius. We are using 5 volt reference voltage. The next thing is to display this actual temperature on the LCD. As the temperature is a floating point number, we need to convert it into string because we can only display a string value to the LCD. This is the function that is used, printf. We're gonna convert the actual temp floating point number and store it in string key actual string. We're gonna limit the value to three decimal point. Then we're gonna move the LCD to the second row, the beginning of the second row, row two colon one. Display temp is, then display our actual temperature. This is a character value for degrees, but you must remember different LCD display have different character code for degree. And this is the letter C for Celsius. Let us run this project. We're going to set our reference temperature and it's going to be displayed against our red temperature. Click run. Build successful. Stop and run. Automatic temp control. Enter ref. We're gonna enter our reference temperature to 25. Enter. Temperature equals 25. Continue, yes. The temperature reference is 25. The actual temperature was not displayed because we did not call the ADC function. We're gonna say init ADC function. You have to call the init ADC function in the main function of the program. Let us build again. Build. Build successful. Let's run our simulation again. Run. Automatic temp control. Reference. 
This time we're going to set our reference to 9. Enter. Tempref equals to 9. Press H to continue. Yes. Then you can see the reference temperature is 9 degrees Celsius. If this temperature changes, as you can see in this case, the change value is going to be displayed on the LCD as well. Now we need to write a code to compare these two temperatures and control and switch on either the fan or the heater. Stop the simulation and let's go to our code again. This is our two variables that we're going to compare. The first one is temp ref and the other one is actual temp. Then we're going to say if temp ref is greater than the actual temperature, this is basically means that the temperature in the room is not high enough, then the set temperature will have to switch on the heater so that we can warm the room. You're going to say heater equals to 1, which is basically to switch on RA1 and switch off the heater. And in the other way, if the reference temperature is less than the actual temperature, then we're going to switch off the heater and switch on the fan but if the reference temperature equals the actual temperature then we're gonna switch off everything because we've got the desired temperature after that we're gonna set a 10 second delay before our program can loop again to start reading the next temperature so this project is gonna read and compare the temperature every 10 second let us build our project build Build successful, run, automatic, temperature control. We're going to set our reference temperature to 15. Enter, yes. The, ref the reference temperature is 15 degrees, but the actual temperature is 32 degrees, so the room is too hot. We need to switch on the fan to cool off the room. But if the temperature decreases, let me decrease it. If the temperature decreases to 14 degrees, remember it read only after 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it's going to update the temperature. After 10 seconds, it's going to update the reading. Now the reference temperature is higher, is 15, than the red temperature, which is 14.2 degrees Celsius. Then the fan is switched off and the heater is switched on to warm up the area. And once the area is warm enough to 15.1, which is higher than 15 degrees, then the fan is going to start cooling off the area again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive new tutorials. And I'll see you in, in the next tutorial. Thank you.